Hi, I'm Brian Rotter with Red Carpet Report. We're in Beverly Hills with the Television Academy honoring daytime programming in celebration of the 67th Annual Emmy Awards. Who are you wearing tonight? Oh, me. No, Zara. <laughs> Zara? Oh, yeah. I love their clothes. For a girl who's a little curvy, they fit me very well. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. I, I love the men's section, actually. I've gotten some really good pieces. Right? They have a great men's selection as well. I actually studied abroad in Spain in college. Ah. And by the time I left with our little touring college group, they called me Mr. Zara. That's right, it's for Mr. Zara. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you, do you ever shop at Do you ever shop at Top Shop? Oh yeah, who doesn't the Top? And well, our show shoots right by the Grove, where there's a big old Top Shop, so it's like it's dangerous. Oh, do, do, when you have downtime, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Do you go over there on your lunch break? Absolutely. What else are you gonna do? Sitting right there. <laughs> so when when you're not acting in soaps, do you take time to watch soaps yourself? Yeah, I do, especially now that I am on one, you know, you kind of want to see and, you know, we're down to the, like, the final four, you know, and hopefully we'll be going strong for years and years, I believe we will. But, um, you know, it's just nice to see what everyone else is doing and how the genre is changing with the times and, you know, keeping itself updated. Absolutely. So, the show is called The Bold and the Beautiful. What was it like for your ego when you got cast on the show? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, right? Seriously. I just go, oh, those other people must be the, you know, I must be the the. <laughs> I'm the and. The and or. <laughs> please, please, you're rocking it. Well, you're, obviously you're you're a woman of color. I'm asking you a serious question now. I'm transitioning. I'm with you. Okay, good. You're right here. You're right here. So, what do you think about, you know, actors of color in the media right now? There's been so much controversy lately. Um, but obviously it hasn't hurt your career being, you know, having a darker skin tone. Um is there a secret to your success or like, I don't know, what are your thoughts are about everything that's going on? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's about a secret to success or, you know, I, there are ways that, you know, my, I have been grouped into certain categories because of the color of my skin. So, you know, it really, if it affects one of us, it affects all of us. And the fact that there aren't roles that represent the demographic of our country and people able to tell their own stories in a really widespread way, though that's changing, you know, I think it's, uh, it, it, it's really something that takes away from all of us because we don't get to hear those stories. So, you know, I'm excited for the awareness that's going on and the swell of diverse casts. You know, on Bold, we have an entire African-American family that's the front runner right now, which is something that's never happened in the history of the show. So it's exciting, but, you know, we also are excited for more. Awesome. Yeah. So what does that feel to be a sort of pioneer to some degree? It's amazing. So you're bold, you're beautiful, and you're a pioneer. Yeah, that's right. That's right? Exactly. <laughs> I told you the and. The and. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, give us a like, and please leave comments below and tell us what your favorite daytime program is.